Coming up on the high school quiz show, it's the semifinals, and we have Phillips Academy. <laughs> Taking on Andover High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, uh, Billy Costa, and we are down to the final four teams. The winner of today's semifinal match will head into the 2018 High School Quiz Show finals. Today, it is an Andover showdown with Andover High School, who defeated Newton North High School in the quarterfinals, taking on Phillips Academy, also of Andover, who defeated Natick High School. And on the Andover team, we have Ian, Frank, Neil, and Omkar, with alternates Anurag and Ashwin, and coaches Alan Habino and Krista Habino. <laughs> and for Phillips Academy, we have uh, Anna, Vincent, LaSalle, and Eric with alternate Mariana and coach Lebo Wang. <laughs> The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We will start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, teams, if you are ready, good luck. What U.S. state has more people than all of Canada? Yes, Frank? California. Yes. When William Shakespeare was born in 1564, who had been Queen of England for just five years? Yes, LaSalle. Elizabeth. Yes, located between Israel and Jordan. What sea that is currently 429 meters below sea level is sinking by about one meter a year? Yes, LaSalle. The Dead Sea. Yes. In a popular story, who is said to have performed the first experiments on gravity by dropping cannonballs of different weights from the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy? And yes, LaSalle. Galileo. Yes. Take a look at your screen. Known as the father of our national parks, what Scottish-born American naturalist pictured here was largely responsible for establishing Yosemite National Park and co-founded the Sierra Club to protect it. Yes, Eric. Wood? No, Andover, you want to try? Yes, Frank. Boone? No, John Muir is the answer. In October 2016, the United States suspended diplomatic contacts with Russia after failed efforts to end the war in what Middle Eastern country? Yes, Neil. Syria? Yes. Curiosity is a car-sized rover that was launched by NASA in 2011 to explore what planet? Yes, Ian. Mars. Mars is right. Will Grayson. Will Grayson was the first LGBT-themed novel to make the New York Times children's bestseller list. It was co-written by David Levithan and what other author? Yes, Ian. John Green. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Here comes the next question. Hello, I'm Yudha Yaakov, Consul General of Israel to New England. Here's my question. Born in Russia and raised in the United States, who is best known as Israel's first, and to date only, female prime minister? Yes, Anna. Golda Meir? Yes. Uh, what French monarch known as the Sun King was a strong believer in the theory of the divine right of kings? Yes, LaSalle. 
Louis XIV. Yes, in 2017, as the U.S. Uh, considered pulling out of NAFTA, farmers in Mexico highlighted the benefits of the trade pact by using 25,000 avocados to make the world's largest batch of what? Yes, Neil. Guacamole. Yes. And under the U.S. Constitution, which of the following has the sole power to bring impeachment charges against a federal official? Is it A, the House of Representatives, B, the Senate, or C, the Supreme Court? Yes, Eric. A. The House of Representatives. Yes. Math question. What is the smallest three-digit prime number? Yes, Frank? 101. Yes, most gene expression is a two-step process. In the first step, DNA is transcribed into RNA, which stands for what? Yes, Omkar. Uh, 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 you want to try it, Phillips? Yes, LaSalle. Ribonucleic acid. That is correct. Widely considered to be harmful to the environment, mountaintop removal is a controversial method of mining what? Yes, LaSalle. Cool. Right. Best known for This Land is Your Land, what folk singer songwriter was nicknamed the Dust Bowl Troubadour? Yes, Neil. Got three. What do you got three is right. What consumer credit reporting agency was hacked in 2017, resulting in the exposure of the personal information of up to 143 million people? Yes, Frank. IRS. No, Phillips, you want a shot? LaSalle? Equifax. Yes. Uh, take a look at your screens. Here comes another question. Hello, I'm Sydney Chafee. I teach humanities at Codman Academy in Dorchester, and in 2017, I was named the National Teacher of the Year. Here's my question. When Alexander the Great was 14 years old, his father hired what renowned Greek philosopher as his tutor? Yes, Frank. Aristotle. Correct. Which of the following is the largest part of the brain and governs language and consciousness? Is it A, the cerebral cortex, B, the cerebellum, or C, the brain stem? Yes, Anna. Cerebellum. No, and over, you want to try it, Neil? A. A, the cerebral cortex is right. Once known as Florence on the Elbow, what German city has been rebuilt since it was firebombed by the Allies in 1945? Yes, Neil. Dresden. Right. Who was an undergraduate at Yale when she won a competition to design the Vietnam Veterans Memorial on the National Mall? Yes, Eric. Maya Lin. Yes, best known for his role as Keith Partridge on the 1970s musical sitcom The Partridge Family. What singer passed away in 2017 at the age of 67? Yes, Neil. Cohen. No, Phillips, you want to try it? Anna? David Cassidy. I'm sorry? David Cassidy. Yes. Uh, math question. The division of a whole number N by 13 gives a quotient of 15 and a remainder of 2. Find N. Yes, Eric. 167. No. Andover, you want to try it? Neil? 207. No, 197 is the answer. What Italian inventor was the first to use radio waves to communicate and is often called the father of wireless? Ian. Marconi. Yes, in 2017, despite getting recognized nearly everywhere he goes, what Game of Thrones creator was not recognized at his publisher's office where security guards demanded to see his ID? Yes, LaSalle. Martin. Yes. Uh, what prominent American astronomer was the host of the 1980s series Cosmos, broadcast in more than 60 countries around the world? Yes, LaSalle. Neil deGrasse Tyson. No, Andover. Yes, Frank. Sagan. Carl Sagan is right. Recently adapted for film, what Brian Selznick novel is about a boy named Ben who is suddenly struck deaf after discovering a clue about his father's identity. Wonderstruck is the answer. In 1919, what U.S. president suffered a massive stroke that left him partially paralyzed and effectively ended his political career? Yes, I am. Wilson. Woodrow Wilson, yes. Uh, Miss Quested and Mrs. Moore are English women who travel to India in what E.M. Forster novel? Yes, right. A passage to India. Yes, also known as adrenaline. What hormone increases the body's heart rate in preparation for the fight or flight response? Yes, Neil. Epinephrine. Yes. Although the villagers had forgotten the ritual and lost the original black box, they still remembered to use stones. Who wrote this in her controversial short story, The Lottery? 
Yes, Frank. Jackson. Shirley Jackson. From 1945 to 1969, who was the president of North Vietnam? Yes, Frank. Ho Chi Minh. Yes. Uh, despite his many successes, what Red Sox first baseman is most remembered for a fielding error in Game 6 of the 1986 World Series against the New York Mets? Yes, Neil. Buckner. That is right. Memoirs of a Girlhood Among Ghosts is the subtitle of what novel by Maxine Hong Kingston that blends autobiography with Chinese folktales? Yes, Neil. The Woman Warrior. Yes, in 1845, newspaper editor John O'Sullivan coined what two-word phrase uh, that was used to support westward expansion of the United States? Yes, Ian. Manifest Destiny. That is correct. Uh, what city? Oh, that's the bell ending the first round. Uh, the score right now, Andover High School, 200 points. Phillips Academy, 100 points. 20 points, and now it's time for the head-to-head -head round. Andover, Phillips, come on down. All right, we're about to go head-to-head. -head. I've got Phillips Academy to my left. I have Andover High School to my right. Can we shake hands? And uh, we'll get started. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers, incorrect answers, are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time the clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck. Here we go. Who was the leader of the Soviet Union during World War II? Yes. Stalin? Yes. What does the E stand for in email? Yes. Electronic? Yes. What 1964 book by Shel Silverstein has just two characters? Yes. Where the sidewalk ends? No, the giving tree. Uh, what is the scientific name for the voice box? Yes. Larynx? Yes. Uh, the Pyrenees Mountains separate France from what country? Yes. Spain. Yes. Characters named Heathcliff and Catherine. Yes. Wuthering Heights. Yes. What U.S. president ended his first inaugural address by appealing to the better angels? Uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. No. Abraham Lincoln. What Italian city is the setting for the first act of Gilbert and Sullivan's The Gondoliers? Yes. Venice. Venice is right. Which U.S. state is closest in distance to Russia? Yes. Alaska. Yes. In a 2009 Broadway revival of West Side Story, which gang sings in Spanish? Yes. Sharks. Yes. In 2017, who was re-elected to a second term as mayor of New York? Yes. Bill de Blasio. Yes. In martial arts such as judo and karate, uh, what color belt is used for absolute? Black. No. White. Uh, together with Pompeii, what city at the western base of Mount Vesuvius was destroyed in 79 A.D.? Herculaneum. Uh, eight of the world's ten highest mountains are found in what country? Yes. China. No, Nepal. In electronics, what does the abbreviation AC stand for? Yes. Alternating current. Yes. The right. Oh, that's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the score. Andover High School, 280 points. Phillips Academy right now, 100 points. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. P-Town, Stay Classy San Diego, It's Complicated, Director's Cut, Surrounded by Phonies, and JFK at 100. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, yes, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you can no longer confer. We will need your answer. So. Phillips Academy, you've got a little ground to make up. You do get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? We'll take director's cut for 10. Director's cut. Here we go. Questions about film directors and for 10 points. It was a big joke. I was horrified to find that some people took it seriously. Who said this about his film, Psycho, widely regarded as one of the scariest movies of all time? Yes, Omkar. Hitchcock. That is correct. You've got the board end over category. Surrounded by phonies. Okay. These will be questions about the catcher in the rye for 10 points. Holden Caulfield's story begins at what prep school where he's failed four out of his five classes and has received notice that he is being expelled? Yes, LaSalle. Pensy Prep. Yes, and now you've got the board, Phillips Academy. We'll take director's cut for 15. Okay. 
Here we go, 15 points. What Italian-American director created some of the most memorable films of the 1930s and 40s, including Mr. Smith Goes to Washington and It's a Wonderful Life? Frank Capra, uh, the answer. And Phillips, you've still got the board. Category? We'll take Surrounded by Phonies. Surrounded by Phonies, this time 15 points. Holden writes a descriptive theme paper about which of the following items that belong to his brother, Allie. Is it A, his hound's tooth jacket, B, his baseball glove, or C, his red hunting cap? Vincent. B. Yes, baseball glove is correct. And Phillips, you've still got the board category. I'm surrounded by phonies for 20. 20 points. Uh, even though he can't stand the guy, Holden spends a lot of time hanging out with what classmate who's socially inept and has terrible hygiene? Yes, Frank. Drad Lauder. No, Phillips, you want to try it? Ackley is the answer. You've still got the board, Phillips Academy. Category? We'll take Surrounded by Phonies for 25. 25 points. Life is a game, boy. Life is a game that one plays according to the rules. What history teacher says this to Holden, warning him to care more about his future? Neil. Mr. Antolini. No, Phillips, you want it? Mr. Spencer is the answer. Phillips, you've still got the board. We'll take director's cut for 20. Okay. Who directs and stars in the Oscar-nominated film Fences, based on the August Wilson play of the same name? Yes, Ian. Denzel Washington. Correct. You've got the board and over high school. Surrounded by ponies for 30, please. 30 points at stake here. Uh, Holden says he wants to rescue little children by being the catcher in the rye. Uh, the book's title comes from Coming Through the Rye, a work by what Scottish poet? Yes, Vincent. Burns. Yes, Robert Burns. And Phillips, you've got the board. You'll need a category. JFK at 100 for 10. Okay, questions about President John F. Kennedy and for 10 points. In his first year in office, Kennedy founded what volunteer organization that sends Americans abroad to live and work in developing countries? Yes, Frank. Peace Corps. That is correct. You've got the board and over category. JFK at 100. 15 points. Uh, John F. Kennedy was born on May 29, 1917 at 83 Beale Street in what Massachusetts town? Yes, Frank. Brookline. Brookline is correct. You've still got the board and over. JFK at 100. Uh, for 20 points. When Kennedy ran for Senate in 1952, what famous politician inherited his congressional seat serving 34 years in Congress and rising to be Speaker of the House? <laughs> Tip O'Neill. Uh, the answer. You've still got the board and over. Category? JFK at 100. 25 points on June 26, 1963. Kennedy uh, gave an historic speech in West Berlin in defense of democracy. Scribbled in his own hand in German, what famous four-word phrase did he add at the last moment? Yes, Frank. I am a Berliner. Berliner? No, we need the original German on this. Phillips? All right, Anna? Ich bin ein Berliner. That is correct, so Phillips Academy. We'll finish JFK at 100. Okay, for 30 points. Kennedy became a war hero by saving the crew of his PT boat after they were hit by a Japanese destroyer in 1943. What was the name of his PT boat? Yes, Vincent. PT-109. That is correct. You've got the board, Phillips Academy category. Um, director's cut for 25. Okay. Known for his striking visual style, what director of Alien and Blade Runner was knighted for his services to the British film industry in 2003? LaSalle. James Cameron. No, Andover, you want to give it a shot? Frank. Kubrick. No, Sir Ridley Scott is the answer. And Phillips, you've still got the board. Director's cut for 30. Okay, 30 points. Who signed an $8 million deal to write, direct, and produce the 2019 Wonder Woman sequel, making her the highest paid female director in history? <laughs> Patty Jenkins is the answer. Phillips, you've still got the board. You'll need a category. P-Town for 10. P-Town. All answers begin with the letter P. And for 10 points, in the human eye, what opening in the middle of the iris allows light to strike the retina? Yes, Frank. Pupil. Pupil is right. You've got the board and over. P-Town. P-Town for 15 points. A traditional part of Chinese architecture. What type of Buddhist temple has multiple stories with eaves that curve up at the corners? Yes, Eric. Pagoda. Pagoda is right. Phillips Academy, you've got the board. Take P-Town for 20. P-Town for 20. 
The heart's right ventricle pumps directly into what artery that carries deoxygenated blood? And a LaSalle. The pulmonary artery. That is correct. Phillips, you've still got the board. We'll take P-Town for 25. Okay, what 10-letter word refers to the perennially frozen ground below the surface of the tundra? Yes, Frank. Permafrost. That is correct. And Andover, you've got the board. P-Town. P-Town for 30 points. During the French and Indian War, what Ottawa Indian chief led an uprising against the British in the Great Lakes region? Uh, Vincent. Pontiac. Pontiac is right. And Phillips, you've got the board. Category. It's complicated for 10. Questions about word problems and for 10 points. In lowest terms, what is the probability of tossing a fair coin three times and getting heads each time? Yes, Frank. One over eight. Yes, and you've got the board and over. Stay classy, San Diego. Okay, questions about San Diego. For 10 points, San Diego's economy was traditionally based on agriculture and fishing, but expanded to include shipping after the opening of what canal in 1914? Yes, Ian. Panama. Correct. You've got the board and over. It's complicated for 15, please. Okay. What is the amount of simple interest accrued on $50,000 at 4% over three years? Yes, Neil. $6,000. That is correct. You've got the board and over. It's complicated. 20 points. Uh, the wholesale price of a camera is $300. What is the camera's retail cost if the markup is 60%? Yes, Frank. 480. That is correct. You've got the board and over. Stay classy, San Diego. Okay, and this time for 15 points. The San Diego Zoo is prominently featured in the film Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. What actor plays this title role? Yes, Neil. Will Farrell. Will Farrell is right. You've got the board. Stay classy, San Diego. For 20 points, a National Historic Landmark. What San Diego hotel with a distinctive red roof has been featured in at least 12 films, most notably, Some Like It Hot? Hotel Del Coronado. And Andover, you've still got the board. Category. It's complicated. It's complicated for 25 points. Uh, Meadow has a patch of dandelions. Every day, the patch doubles in size. If it takes 48 days for the patch to cover the entire meadow, how long would it take for the patch to cover half of the meadow? And uh, Omkar. 47 days. That is correct. You've got the board hand over. Stay classy, San Diego. And this time for 25 points. In 2017, SeaWorld San Diego announced the death of what infamous orca involved in the deaths of three people and the subject of the documentary Blackfish? Yes, Eric. Shamu? No. Yes, Neil. Tilikum. That is correct. And Andover, you still have a board. And that is the bell ending the category round with a score right now. Andover High School, 395 points. Phillips Academy, 225 points. How about it, folks? Semifinals. <laughs> okay, we are headed into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Teams, Good luck. Alabama State University is located in what capital city? Yes, Neil? Montgomery. Yes, in 2012. What became the first private company to reach the International Space Station? Yes, Vincent. Um, SpaceX? Yes, in 1966, what American singer-songwriter released the landmark double album Blonde on Blonde? Neil? Dylan. Yes, in 2017, uh, what U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary resigned? Yes, Price. Frank. Yes. What 1924 short story features uh, General Zaroff as a man who hunts people for sport? Yes, Anna. The most dangerous game? Yes. In 2017, who won an Emmy Award for her lead role in The Handmaid's Tale? Elizabeth Moss. Uh, the film Ten Things I Hate About You is a modern retelling of what Shakespeare comedy? Yes, Taming Monk up the shoe. Yes. After oxygen, what is the second most abundant element by mass in the human body? Yes, Frank. Nitrogen. No, carbon is the answer. Name the capital city of Malta. Yes, Ian. Valletta. Yes. Uh, the Suez Crisis of 1956 was precipitated by Egypt's plans to build what dam on the Nile River? Yes, Frank. Uh, uh, Suez? Uh... No, the Aswan Dam. In the film Stronger, what actor plays Jeff Bauman, a real-life survivor of the Boston Marathon bombing? Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, in 2008 in Japan, who became the first woman ever to win an Indy car race? 
Yes, Neil. Patrick. Danica Patrick, yes. American Muslim leader Malcolm X. That is the bell ending the game. And the winner this week, Andover High School, with 475 points. The runner-up, Phillips Academy. 265 points. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. Andover High School now will move on to play in the championship round. Make sure you're tuned in and we'll see everybody back here for a high school quiz show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. Museum of Science. Production of WGBH.